Long ago, there was a boy who would play outside. He would spend all day running, playing hide and seek with his friends, and rolling around in the fields. However, one day, when he came home, he ran into something that surprised him. A spider web was on his front porch in the corner of the walls. Sitting in the center of it was a big fat spider. It had eight long legs, eyes out of this world, and two fangs coming from its mouth. The boy shrieked, and on instinct, he got a twig and swatted at the thing. He broke the web and the spider scurried away before the boy could kill it. And so the boy continued playing, thinking that the eight-legged menace was gone. The other bugs he had seen were a bit creepy, but something about that spider sent shivers down his spine. One day, when returning home, he walked into the porch and didn't realize that the spider had remade the web. He had his arm stretched out and then he felt something sticky. He then felt something crawling on his arm. He screamed and waved his arms around, and the spider flew off, running away before the boy could stomp on it. Some days had passed, and the boy thought that the spider had finally left. During this time, he heard rumors about a mosquito outbreak. What made this outbreak terrifying was that the mosquitoes were said to spread a disease that made people very ill. Some boys were bedridden for weeks on end. The boy was surprised that he hadn't gotten sick too since he was always playing outside. But the boy thought nothing of it after a while. Then one day after a long day of playing, he returned home and walked to his porch. That was when he saw something on his hand, a big mosquito, and it was about to sting his hand. He swatted at it, but it flew away and landed on his leg. He shook it off, and then it landed on his back. He kept striking at it, but it would escape in time, and it eventually landed on his face. The boy screamed, and that yell was enough to send the mosquito flying back and into a newly built spider web on his porch. The mosquito struggled in the web, but it was too late because the spider was already coming down to eat him. Thanks, the boy said. I'm sorry I broke your web and chased you away. The spider looked at the boy in a forgiving way. That's when the boy realized that the spider was actually protecting him from all the poisonous mosquitoes. The boy smiled and said, You are a blessing in disguise. In life, we often get mad and upset when things don't go our way. How many times have you asked, why is this happening to me? Or, why me, God? What we don't realize is that these bitter trials usually come to us as blessings in disguise. It is during these difficult experiences that we find out what we're really made of. We must take advantage of these times to mold ourselves into better human beings. Getting fired from a job could mean that you can finally pursue something that you really love. Going through a breakup can make you realize what you're really worth and not to put up with other people's lies. A sickness can sometimes push you to lead a healthier life, one filled with high energy and fun-filled hobbies. In life, it's all about who we become in the process. You can live locked up in a room forever, avoiding getting hurt or feeling bad, and you might even live to see a hundred, but is that any way to live? I don't think so. I hope this message can help you or someone you love. This is the Prosperity Code, wishing you a blessed day.